the film A Most Beautiful Thing was a powerful film that encapsulated the story of uh, six African-American uh, rowing uh, teammates that sort of came together from different parts of towns and different gangs to ultimately pursue the same goal. I think this maybe the scale that's of the trauma that occurs was what really it kind of sh shook me and kind of oh my goodness like it's it's not at least in my experience it's not very talked about you know i said to the kids i skipped over pools of blood i i lost friends i lost teammates i uh, ran for my life i heard gunshots when i slept i experienced what soldiers ha has experienced in war but before i was 15 years old i'm, I'm 15 years old almost 16 and it's really important to me to become educated and that's it feels like these years are pretty formative i've noticed and i i'm open to a lot of change and growth and and keeping an open mind is something that's very important to me and listening to different people's perspectives having Arshay cooper uh, visit our school was a very uh, great opportunity um, just because we got to ask personal questions and then get personal responses that we might not have had otherwise. I was that kid, right, who, who have uh, uh, never got in trouble, who have, you know, never been suspended or broken the law, but still had my face pressed down a police car numbers of times, right? It was a very impactful experience, I feel, learning about someone else's childhood, growing up in a very rough neighborhood and, and learning more about why people join gangs. I believe Arshe said this, uh, but he said there's no rules for how you feed your family. And I think that that, that was just such a powerful line because obvious, um, I mean, oftentimes it's just like, it. most people just look at it like in black and white, like you can either choose not to commit the crime or you can. Um, and it's, it's just not the case. Um, uh, and I, I think it's important that we recognize that. But the fact that this sport was not conflict non-combative, uh, uh, I felt like it, it was perfect for me. And when we were pushed out there in open water, the same survival mode that tells you when you hear a gunshot run, told us in order to get back to the dock safely, you have to pull for each other. Playing soccer, uh, oftentimes um, I was like, I was uh, introduced to uh, uh, many different types of people, um, whether it be uh, white teammates, black teammates, or Latino teammates as myself. Um, and I think once you get out on that soccer field, or uh, uh, in Arshay's case, the, the water, it just, it just all goes away and you're just one big team working together for the same goal. And I, th I think that's something I can relate to. You know, the coach said, leave the boathouse better than you found it, right? Um, because, you know, it, it makes it easier for the next group. And I'm like, what? I have to leave the boathouse better than I found it? Like, I didn't create the mess. I didn't make the mess. Like, are you serious? Right? And you have to leave it better than you found it. And, and for me, it was, how can I leave, um, definitely this boathouse better than I found it, but how can I leave this team better than I found it? It was very important for someone who, who lives in San Francisco and doesn't really experience the sort of things that, that the people in, involved in the film experienced. I also really enjoyed just listening to people and, and not taking the time to input my perspectives or my bias, just listening and watching. I think that was very impactful for me. But I knew as we worked with the cops, it was so different from us uh, in many ways that I couldn't have the uncomfortable conversation right away to get to where we had to go. But the approach was to unify through something that we all love and that is sports. During the dialogue session, we discussed a lot about our role in society and and how that's dictated by who we are or like how, how we're what we look like when we have a conversation it all trace back to the history of slavery jim crow laws and segregation that that the reason why these communities are the way they are being able to write down your privilege and like then speak it out is something that we often don't do and um having the ability to do that really is really important just just so you, you recognize that privilege and sort of um, maybe even use it to help others who might not have the same privilege. And I, that's one of the workshops we did uh, within our small group. I think that it is essential to go out of your comfort zone in order to learn more about other people and what makes them tick. 
but I think there's no way where we can make progress without dialogue. I think dialogue is like the number one tool. And, but I think the biggest thing is that I really care about this sport. And I believe that every boathouse should not only be the lighthouse, but every boathouse should reflect the diversity in this city.